One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight packs of sugar. That's roughly what you find in a can of soft drink, sugared soft drink. I'm not picking on Coke specifically. All sugared soft drinks contain about that. That's about 15 calories per each packet, and that adds up to a lot of sugar. What do we do about consuming all of that sugar, which of course leads to obesity? Well, we can try to cut it out. How? Well, how about like this? Many of you are probably familiar with the great zigzag illusion on stage, usually performed with large, scantily clad women. I don't have any of those lying around, so we're just going to do this on a small scale. Here we go. We're going to cut that sugar right out of there. And here we go, roughly a third of the calories removed. Right? Well, of course, we don't like to live in the world of illusion. We like to live in the world of reality. So in the real world, what do we do? How do we cut out the sugar? We just use artificial sweeteners in diet drinks. Most diet drinks will contain aspartame, the classic artificial sweetener. And therein lies a controversy, a big controversy. There are some who suggest that uh, aspartame leads to headaches, to seizures, multiple sclerosis, cancer. Well, none of those have been shown in properly controlled trials. There are some people who really do get headaches from uh, aspartame. What do you say to them? Don't consume it. That's what we say to people who say they get headaches from red wine or from chocolate. But considering the billions of doses of aspartame that are consumed around the world on a regular basis, the number of adverse reactions that are recorded are, are minute. And that's not surprising because there have been loads and loads of studies done on aspartame. It probably is the most rigorously studied food additive ever to have come on the market. The European Food Safety Agency, Health Canada, FDA have all concluded that in the doses that are consumed, aspartame in the vast majority of the public doesn't cause any problems. Now that being said, I'm no great fan of artificial sweeteners, basically because they do not do what they're supposed to do, make a dent in the obesity epidemic. Ever since we've uh, introduced artificial sweeteners, we've seen a rise in obesity. I don't think it's cause and effect. I think it is because people consume artificial sweeteners and then they think it gives them the license to eat other stuff that they otherwise wouldn't have eaten. They will sweeten their coffee with an artificial sweetener and reward themselves, have that piece of cake that they may not have had had they put sugar into their coffee. Although there are some who suggest that consuming any kind of sweetener, whether it's sugar or artificial sweetener, just triggers a taste for sweets so that we crave more sweetened foods. So with uh, all of that controversy surrounding aspartame, what is my kind of bottom line? I don't favor soft drinks, whether they're sugar drinks, whether they're artificial sweetened drinks, because they don't make, they're not necessary in our, in our diet. They don't contribute anything. Uh, so we don't need them. Forget the artificial sweetened drinks. Forget the sugar sweetened drinks. What is wrong with consuming good old-fashioned H2O? That's my favorite beverage, and for me, it comes from the tap. Sugar. Oh, honey, honey. You are my king.